Now, for nearly 80 years, scientists have indicated how close the world is to global catastrophe using something called the Doomsday Clock. The idea began to warn humanity of the dangers of nuclear war, with midnight marking the theoretical point of annihilation. Our reporter Jane Corbyn has more. North Korea has threatened to detonate a hydrogen bomb over the Pacific. President Putin has ordered Russia's strategic nuclear forces to be... Every year there's a meeting to assess the risk of global catastrophe and set the doomsday clock. It's a metaphor of how close we are to nuclear Armageddon. A scary thought, but the scientists hope it will alert the public and pressure leaders to make the world a safer place. In 2023, the hands were set at 90 seconds to midnight, the closest they've ever been, in large part because of Russia's war in Ukraine. In Chicago, we've had exclusive access to the Bulletin of Atomic Scientists, meeting to discuss where to set the clock for this year. This is a very dangerous time. We have moved from a period where nuclear weapons were considered unusable. We're seeming to move into a period of time where we're not so sure every major country, UK included, is investing in their nuclear arsenal. But nevertheless, no nuclear weapon has been used for 70, 80 years. People would say, isn't this scaremongering? There's no way we're moving towards that again. People would be wrong to say there's no way we're moving towards that again. Here in Scotland, the UK's nuclear deterrent is on constant alert. The warheads are placed on top of Trident ballistic missiles housed inside one of four Vanguard submarines. Somewhere out there. Somewhere out there. There's a heck of a lot at stake. Yes, um, the whole point of the nuclear deterrent is that it's never actually fired. People say, oh, you know, it's a weapon system that would never be used. It's been used at the moment. As we speak at the moment, there is a nuclear deterrent out there. The Vladimir Putins of this world know that it's out there and they know that it's credible and that we could use it if needs be. In 2021, the UK government announced that it's increasing the cap on the number of its warheads. Recent suggestions US nuclear bombs may once again be based in Britain has provoked disarmament protests at RAF Lakenheath in Suffolk, highlighting the continuing tension around nuclear weapons. The world is in a far more dangerous situation precisely because of what's happening in Ukraine. So we feel adding more nuclear bombs to that situation is not going to make it safer. Next week, the Bulletin of Atomic Scientists will reveal where the hands of the doomsday clock will be set for 2024. Jane Corbyn, BBC News, Chicago.